uh, trading company, opened a new cryptocurrency incubator right here in Champaign at Jump Lab this summer to help students and other startups launch using technologies in crypto and blockchain to create new technologies. And we adopted an ambitious new master plan that shows the research park doubling in size, and we hope that you'll all be a part of that success. We're being bold in our ideas, and we hope that you're bold in your new technologies that enable new realities in your industry. Those are just some of the things that we've been up to this year. We're thankful for you being part of this program today, and we hope you enjoy and work with us on opportunities to engage anytime you see an opportunity to do so here in the research park. None of this would be possible without countless volunteers that put time in to program this event. Our awesome team, if you see them, thank them for their time working overtime to make this possible. And I'd also like to thank and ask them to stand our sponsors for this event because financial support is really important to make this a free program. So if I could please welcome anybody who's here from John Deere, Access Capital, and Denoto to stand for a brief moment of applause and gratitude. opportunities around data sciences. He is now the director of the Deloitte Foundation Center for Business Analytics. He's the University of Illinois uh, College of Business professor, but also has acquaintances, as I mentioned, across campus. And in our context, he's our beloved data sciences expert in residence that helps many of the companies throughout the research park. And he's also been leading the new Illinois Data Sciences Initiative. We thought it'd be great for him to share some of the highlights of what's happening across data sciences at the University of Illinois. So please join me in welcoming Robert Brown. Uh, wow, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to follow that. Uh, thank you. Um, I, I, I have to say this is fourth or fifth year uh, we've been doing this, sixth year uh, we've been doing this. Um, it, it, is, it is amazing what's changed uh, since I first started coming down here. Uh, and, and part of that is just getting to meet all the wonderful people here. Uh, Lara and Lara, uh, it's great to, to have your assistance in, in putting things like this together. I'd love to be a part of that team. Uh, there's a lot of other people that also go behind the scenes. I mean, uh, Laura was mentioning that, but you know, Jen Kim and Kathy McArthur, they've been running around getting everything set up. The rest of the team, thank you for making this, this event possible. Um, I always look forward to this event. Uh, as, as a faculty member, we're you know, generally thought of sitting in an ivory tower, for lack of a better uh, visual, and, and just thinking you know, deep thoughts. But for me personally, the world has been changing so rapidly over the last five, 10 years. And that change hasn't been driven by academia, it's been driven by industry. And so I really enjoy having opportunities to talk to people who are in the trenches, uh, who are actually making these changes, who are coming up with these ideas, these, these startups, the pitches that you're going to hear later. I think they're fa fascinating. It's a fantastic opportunity to see what people are thinking in terms of innovation. And that really drives me. Uh, as Laura said, I'm a, a professor at McKees College of Business. Uh, uh, formerly, I'm actually a professor of accountancy. Uh, but I'm the only faculty member in that department, perhaps the only accountancy professor in the nation uh, that actually has a PhD in astrophysics. So, uh, you know, I, I, I definitely think different. Uh, but fortunately, they think different as well. They saw the, uh, the, 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 the reason why you might want to take a chance on somebody like me who, who does think different, thinks about innovation and how data is driving innovation in so many different areas. Uh, as Laura said, I'm the director of the University of Illinois Deloitte Foundation Center for Business Analytics. That's a new thing in the College of Business where we're trying to bring in more formal STEM-based curricula into the college to try to transform the learning experience. Um, personally, I think we have to, to train the next generation. We can't simply rely on people coming out of traditional STEM disciplines to help drive that innovation. We need to, we need to be doing this older. Uh, and that's part of the thing I'm going to talk about here today is how do we plan to do that? Um, the other thing that Laura mentioned is that I'm the data science expert in residence. So I've had the privilege of being able to talk to many of you 
uh, over the last, you know, I guess almost six years, uh, as Laura was just telling me. Uh, part of that role is to provide consulting services to companies in the research park. So if you uh, are in the research park and you want to talk, just look me up, talk to me today. Uh, I can come down here uh, all the time to, to talk with companies. If you're not in the research park, I'm still happy to talk to you, though. Uh, so please feel free to stop and, and talk to me about data. Uh, I'm very passionate about it. Uh, I, I guess if I I've been, had enough foresight when I first got my net idea, it would have been Big Dog, it would have been, you know, Data Dog or something like that. Uh, but, but, you know, in hindsight, we have better vision, right? So, um, so the, the, the key point, though, that I wanted to, to focus on this morning that Laura asked me to come and sort of help open this event was to talk to you a little bit about what I do in one of my other roles, and that is co-lead of the Illinois Data Science Initiative. Uh, for about four years now, I've been working with people on campus to try to figure out what it is that the University of Illinois should do around data science. Uh, and, and that seems like an easy thing, right? Well, we should be doing something. Uh, but when you look at the scale and the breadth of what the University of Illinois does and the impact we have both within the state and the nation and globally, it's actually a very challenging problem. Um, how do we leverage some of the existing strengths that, that we already have in place? Uh, such as this wonderful research park, such as uh, great strong academic departments, uh, such as institutes like NCSA or Beckman or IGB. Uh, all of these are generating data. All of them have a lot of the same issues around having STEM talent to be able to process and, and learn from that data. Uh, all of them have issues in terms of the data volumes are just growing faster and faster, and so we feel like we're falling farther behind. Uh, and, and some of our peers have, have made bold uh, steps in this direction in terms of either launching institutes or new programs. Uh, but we've been more uh, uh, reflective in sort of how we should be doing this. Uh, so about two years ago, IDSI, the Illinois Data Science Initiative, was actually started. And it was in, launched with the goal of engaging our campus in, in this conversation about what should we be doing here. Should it be an institute? Should it be a new college? But what should it be? Uh, and we've spent a lot of time over the last two years uh, trying to figure this out. And, and generally, it's been engaging with people via summits like this. Uh, we've had, I think it's 12 summits now over the last two years. Uh, a lot of them have focused in data science research themes. So we've had uh, research summits from business and public policy, social media, education. Uh, recently, we did material science, uh, genomics, health and medicine. Uh, there, the focus is on personalized health. Uh, we've done food, energy, and water. A large part of that is uh, food security and sustainable agriculture, as well as more theoretical issues. How do we actually build data science as a discipline in a way that we have solid footing uh, to be able to launch some of these more ambitious projects? Those summits have been very successful, in large part because we've brought industry representatives into the same room with the academics. So we've had that full span of, of sort of thinking about these in sort of the bigger picture, as well as uh, you know, on the ground, nuts, nuts and bolts, how do we actually think about building projects and, and tackling big issues? Um, personally, I think this is really exciting. Right? This is an incredible time. I, I talk to, to, to companies all the time, and, and one of the things that just strikes me is so much of what we are talking about doing was science fiction when I was a kid. It just is amazing to me. Um, I have a former student who is who's a CEO of a startup, and his goal is to build flying cars. I'm just flabbergasted every time I say that. Flying cars, wow, you know. Uh, <laughs> the world is really changing, and, and that's why I think it's so exciting to be here, to be with people who are, are, are actually doing these innovations. Um, one of the other things that we've done, uh, IDSI has done, is looked at could we use data and data science to make the university itself smarter? And one of the things that, that's come out of that are, are ideas of, on analyzing the data that the university has to become smarter about how we do things, to become more efficient. Uh, one of these is a group has been formed to look at improving student outcomes. This is actually going on in the college, Peace College of Business. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. One of the things that, that actually that educated me, however, was student outcomes aren't simply, you know, do we make sure students graduate in four years? Do we make sure they have the, the highest GPA they can have? Uh, we actually look at other things, and, and one of those is how do we uh, ensure our students find meaningful jobs and have meaningful employment? So that's, a, that's you know, thinking about your outcomes, your goals, what you're trying to achieve, those are all great things. Uh, we've had a lot of other summits. Uh, we've worked with uh, most public education, higher education students in the state. That's been great. Uh, we're sort of working on that. We've also, as Laura mentioned, been working with community data science. And so uh, if you're interested in that, please uh, let us know. Uh, Matt Aarons, I think, is going to be here today. If he's not here right now, he's leading this effort that Laura mentioned, the PICAC. Um, and then we're also trying to work with the private industry. 
few events like this, as well as uh, other things that we're doing. So where we are right now, I know this is an exciting opportunity, exciting time. Um, right now our campus leadership is very close to finishing out uh, the details. Uh, we have this new Discovery Partners Institute being launched in Chicago with the Illinois Innovation Network. Data science is going to play a major role there. Uh, our campus itself is finishing a strategic plan. That strategic plan has data science at its core. Uh, part of this is, as you may have heard, uh, there's been announcements about uh, uh, building new uh, buildings down here to help in terms of integrating data science and, and grow the research park, as Laura mentioned. We also are, are looking at uh, an ambitious hiring program for faculty in different data science focused areas and also looking to build uh, a new building to sort of bring in some central uh, locations for data science. Uh, and all of these have been announced by the Chancellor uh, fairly recently, so perhaps you've already heard of that. But I think over the next month or two, we're really going to see some progress in this area, and it's going to be uh, very exciting to see what comes out. Um, so I hope you share my enthusiasm with, with data science, both here at the Research Park, at the University of Illinois, and of course, in just in general. Uh, so now it's my great pleasure, though, to introduce our morning keynote speaker, uh, my friend, Professor Verity Winship. I first met Verity uh, through IDSI. She may be regretting uh, for bringing her on board. Uh, but she's on the steering committee for the IDSI. She's been a very valuable asset on that. Uh, she's a graduate of the Harvard Law School, where she served as executive editor for the Harvard Law Review. Uh, she's performed several impressive clerkships. She practiced law in New York City. But fortunately for us, she saw the light, uh, and she, she came to academia. Uh, she's currently a full professor at the College of Law here at the University of Illinois. Uh, she's one of the most dynamic and interesting speakers I've ever uh, had the pleasure to listen to. Uh, I, I like to tease her, though, that, that you, her voice may be very familiar to some of you. Uh, she is the uh, uh, voice for legal issues in the news on WIL Public Radio, so you may have heard her uh, waxing uh, about many of the issues that are confronting uh, society today. Uh, so please join me in welcoming Professor Barry Hitchin. 